The Apple Watch Series 3 brought LTE connectivity to the watch, and one main benefit of this is being able to stream Apple Music from the watch without any need for downloading. Unfortunately, when the device shipped last week, streaming functionality was not there. But Apple just released watchOS 4.1 beta to developers, and with it comes streaming in a new radio app. So the streaming functionality works the same way as listening before the update. The only difference now is that the audio doesn't have to be stored locally and you also have access to your entire Apple Music or iCloud Music library. When you find a song you want to listen to, you just tap on it and it starts playing regardless of whether it's stored on the watch or not. This audio doesn't play through the watch speakers, but if you connect Bluetooth headphones like AirPods, you can listen that way. And this streaming will work when you're connected to your phone, connected via Wi-Fi, or just using cellular. Now, there's also a new app called Radio that lets you listen to your Apple Music radio stations. Anything you create on your iPhone will be here as well as Beats 1 and other curated stations. The functionality of the app itself works much the same as the music app, but just the music is chosen for you. Now, this is a beta, so you shouldn't expect everything to work perfectly, and it's still a little early to tell how this will affect battery life in the final version. However, in the beta, the watch definitely drains faster, so don't expect perfect battery life, especially if you're streaming over LTE. But it does work. You can tell the audio is being streamed. It's not the highest quality, but it still sounds good. But anyways, that is watchOS 4.1 beta and Apple Music streaming on the Apple Watch Series 3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm Matt Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.